In this video, we're gonna explain to you how to properly case a jump and probably save your life. At least a bone. What's up everyone? This is Tyler at the MX Factory. We're gonna talk about a very important piece of your riding, how to control your bike when you case a jump. It's not necessarily how you case a jump, it's how you react to casing the jump. How your body is dispersing energy. There's a couple things that are real important. You don't wanna case the jump in the arches of your feet, okay? There's no flexion in your ankles, there's no room for that to move. You wanna be able to start your absorption of that hit at your ankle. It's important to have good strong angles and loose calves too, but you wanna take the hit in your ankles. Next goes your knees, okay? The strength from your quads, hamstrings, and your glutes are what's gonna take that part of the hit, okay? And then also into your hips and core. So you want to make sure that you're attached to the bike with your knees, that you're strong in your legs when you hit. You do not want to hit with your knees out. Okay, there's a, there, when I case a jump, I feel like I have more strength in my legs when I'm squeezing to the bike. It's almost like the bike becomes one with you. When your legs are out, it's like someone, it's like you jumping off the back of your truck straight to the ground. There's nothing there to really help you or attach your legs to to kind of take a little bit of that blow. The most common thing that we see is that people are casing a jump just a little bit sideways and then it kicks back, kicks back, and then slams them. So when you case a jump sideways, you've got suspension in the equation. You know that something's gonna happen in return when you compress that suspension. If it's straight, it just comes back up and a lot of times you just kind of get a little bounce. If you're sideways, it's gonna not only come back up, but it's gonna kick you back more the opposite direction. What you've gotta try to do when that happens is you have to disperse that energy or capture that energy with your body and try to keep it to one side. And what I mean by that is, if you're casing a jump, say the bike's going like this, you know the bike's kicking back that way. When you land, you wanna pull your weight. You want when the bike's coming back up to you, you kinda wanna fight your weight to that opposite side to keep the bike from going too far the other direction. Of course, it's gonna kick a little bit, but a really good rider can case a jump very sideways and get the bike back in shape by dispersing that energy correctly. And that's only gonna be fighting that energy coming back up with you with weight going the opposite direction. So there's gonna be a couple ways that you can adjust your bike in the air to uh, minimize the feedback that you'll get from the bike when you don't make it to the sweet spot of the landing. You're gonna either wanna go front wheel first or rear wheel first. One thing I will say is you don't ever wanna go both wheels first because if you're casing, when the jump has a rounded notch to it, or even if it's a tabletop, there's somewhere on that that there's a peak. And if you case it with your frame first, you have no suspension, all the energy is coming directly through your body. You don't have any of your travel to soak that up. So it's gonna be the most aggressive that way. That's why I always say Ow. back wheel first or front wheel first. A scenario for back wheel first will be if you're casing a tabletop with a mellow landing, meaning it's not a steep landing and your front tire just gets to the edge and then you know that the energy that's gonna come back from that case is gonna be coming from the back end. If you drop your back tire first, the front tire hits second, it's not gonna come back up but the back tire has potential to kind of kick up. So you know that you're gonna to have to put hips back to disperse the energy from coming up and pushing you forward. That's on a mellow landing. Let's talk about something that has a little bit of a steeper landing and how you would wanna do that. Doubles, tabletops with steep landings, doubles going into turns where you need to slow down, that all requires a front wheel first case. The reason for this is that one, it slows your bike down when you can get front wheel, it kind of plants the back end. So what you'll notice in this is whatever wheel hits first usually has the most energy and feedback after you've cased. Okay, so if you hit the front wheel first, it's gonna get more feedback than the rear wheel if you go front wheel to back wheel. And that's kind of what you want when you want when you have a steep landing because you don't want to get bucked over the bars when you hit that. Okay, so you go front wheel first and then you take that energy. You know the energy is gonna come back through the front, you've gotta soak that up a lot of times through your upper body because it's hitting forks first. And then the and then the uh, legs obviously are gonna be the strongest muscles in the body, they're gonna to help too. But you gotta be ready for that hit with your upper body. Nice strong upper body, 90 degree angle like we always say and let the bike come to you and control. That's why push-ups are a really good drill or a really good thing to practice every day if you can to get ready for those big hits. We have a special gift for you when you sign up for our email list below. We got 
three secret tips on how to improve your jumping. Check them out. We're gonna talk about very, very important uh, variable in your riding. There was a lot of variables, variables in that. 